Hey everyone and welcome back. So I want to show you how to create uh, another type of recipe, which is like maybe around our search. And you know, there are different types of recipes that have to do with search because if we think about all the different instances of search, that includes stuff like lists, results, type of heads, and that's where we're going to start right now. So you can actually go ahead and create like components for text. I'm not a big fan of doing that. It gets a little hard to manage, but like, I'll show you what you can do here and how you can even turn that into components. Totally up to you. And it really depends on your application. So I'm going to grab that iPhone. Again, I'm going to actually apply a grid just to something simple, just so I can set my frame around it. And I know that this is gonna be like the width of these grids over here. And I'm just going to name that type of head list. Now we need to actually create a list item. So let me just fill this with a stroke. So we know that that's our frame for now. So let's move this out of the way. Our list item, when we think about type ahead, there's going to probably be like rules. So I'm going to actually create a line. So let's create a rule. And that rule is probably going to have like a UI color. Oh, that's a little too dark. Maybe like 20. Really subtle. Maybe 40 is fine. Okay, so we have that. And now we need some text. So let's think about which text we are going to use. So say I start typing something, text type prefill list. So there is my text. It's not gonna be 20 pixels. I'm probably gonna bring it down to 16. That's good. And you know, some portion of it is going to actually not be prefill. So you're gonna to have to do this like manually for yourself. So when we see prefill text, we, that's how it usually is. Okay, so we have our text set. We also have maybe like an icon. So let's grab an icon. So you can very much make a list component. I haven't. Okay, what icon are we gonna use? We're gonna use an outline 24 pixel chevron, right? And like very easy, I'm just gonna bring that in. Just leave that there for now. And I'm thinking about all the different parts of a prefill list. We have our text, like if we're looking for something, it will automatically prefill with bold and whatever you've typed in with it. TX over here is gonna be just regular. What I'm also gonna do is I think like, we may have like a category indicator. And that we can make much smaller. You know, maybe bold is way too much for a heading. Maybe this is where like our alternate small body copy comes into play. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna create a frame and I'm just gonna call this text. I'm gonna rename it to text and we can use auto layout if we want. And here we are just going to space that out maybe by four pixels. And then we have another frame. So I'm gonna call this list item and what we can do here is we can just select both and automatically space them out so they're centered we select both of these we can make sure they're eight pixels apart let's do that so we know that these are all eight pixels apart from each other. Let's go ahead and uh, just rename these. We'll call them rule. 
like a horizontal roll. At this point, we can actually start creating our list items. So I'm gonna actually put this into this frame. And this frame is now gonna be an auto layout frame. And everything within this frame is gonna be spaced by eight pixels. So if I go ahead and take my list item and duplicate it, text, oops, I can easily put it below. And if I don't want to show this any longer, I can easily do that and have that variation like that. And my list item will, you can just like resize to fit like that. And there we go. We can easily create a variant. So that's how you can create like a different type of recipe over here. So I've created this one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually select this and that, and you see eight pixels may seem like a, a little too much. And uh, see UI 40 gray is a little too dark. That's a little bit more subtle. I think that's fine for now. But if we want to bump that up, like say by 16 pixels, so I've noticed that, you know, that 40 is too dark. And this is what I mean about like your design system starting to evolve. You'll realize that, hey, I may need something in between here. Maybe if I dock this by another 20%, the rule may actually be a little nicer. So if I uh, say if I go 80% on that, maybe even 40%, like that rule is a little more bearable. But that is something we just kind of learn with time. So I'm going to actually continue. We can just command C, command V, command C, command V, and just create like a huge list. And there you have it. That's your type ahead list. So we can go ahead and put that into our little section here. Let's put it into the recipe. Perfect. So that's one other type of list that we can create. Obviously you can turn these into components, totally up to you. If you feel like you're not using it enough, then you don't need to. Another recipe that I thought about also when it comes to search is like your results. So let's create a quick search result list. So I'm going to actually go to my cards and I'm going to grab like horizontal. Oh, no, nope, there we go. Search. Okay, so we only really need one and then we can play with that. So let's go back to our tab. We can turn on our, so I like to work within like a frame like that. And what we're going to do here is when I think of search results, I'm going to space these out by 16 pixels. We can even have a horizontal rule if we want. We can also, you know, add uh, variations. Let's call these results. And these are gonna be in an auto layout, 16 pixels apart, vertical, perfect. And so like when I delete one, that whole frame changes. Okay, that is good for now. What I'm going to do here is, you know, like another title. I'm going to put like maybe like 100 results for music. Now what I can do is I can create another auto layout. Let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to actually just push that over here. Let's bring this down a bit. So 16 pixels and I'm going to command C and then command V. So this is gonna probably be in the darker text color. So a gray 80. And this is probably going to be in a 16 pixel regular. So we're creating a lot more hierarchy here. And we're gonna create a frame around this and we're gonna call this text. And within that frame, we're just gonna do an auto layout again. 
And this one can be like zero or whatever you see fit. Like it could be like four. That looks like good enough spacing. And then like once you change something like this, it changes everything and same thing for that. So keeping things very kind of like responsive to this mobile screen, we have a text portion. Let's make sure that we're like maybe spaced out by that increment. We got 24. That's perfectly fine for now. And then maybe there is like button here. Actually, maybe not a button. Let's go check our pill buttons here. So we have a pill grow. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to actually place that right there and I'm gonna call this filters. So maybe we handle filters in a button like this. And we're gonna remove, remove. We're gonna resize that. And let's take a look at our grid. So we're gonna resize that and we're going to select both. And I'm going to center them. And I'm just gonna call this, I'm gonna make another frame, Option Command G. And I'm gonna call this, what should we call it? We should probably call it something like result info. Then we can take this and call this search results. And there you have it. You have an easy search result section where we can constantly add new items. And this becomes like easy way to just build a, a page. So I'm just actually going to take this. You can make this an auto layout as well. And you can space these two things by 24 pixels. Totally up to you. And you'll see how everything just grows. And that's why I really love about auto layout. So I'm gonna actually take that, Command C, and let's put that into the recipe. And that is how you can make different types of recipes. So this is more in relation to actual searching, but I have like a type ahead list. So when I'm actually typing in to my search input, and then I actually have a results list where I can show users how many results there are for their actual search. And if I wanna pop like a filters overlay, I can do that with this button. And I have all the different types of, well, not all the different types, but I have different types of results that I can always pull from if I needed to. So this is how I would approach uh, recipes for something like search that has different types of components and different types of variations.